Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Fatima and in this video I'm going to share with you seven powerful tips to take your Bible study to the next level. If you've missed my first video about Bible study tips for beginner, you're going to want to click here and watch that one first. This one is a little more dedicated to really breaking down the scriptures and making sure that you're getting the most out of your study time. So the first tip is to look up the definitions of the words. There's been plenty of times where I've been studying and I'll come across a word and I may not even know how to pronounce it, let alone what it means and I'll just keep brushing over it and not think about it. Um, however, as I started to build my um, relationship with God and build my experience with reading the word, I start to realize how important it is to actually stop and look up those words. Look up the regular definition and if possible, look up the Hebrew definition. I guarantee you that by doing this, you're going to get so much more out of the scriptures that you are reading. Tip number two is to read it more than once. I know we live in a fast paced world where a lot of times if we're reading scriptures or studying the Bible, it's usually on our smartphone, but I want to encourage you to Take your time to read over the scriptures more than once. Sometimes things will pop out to you or the Holy Spirit will place something in you that you didn't even notice the first time. But I want to encourage you to not just brush over the scriptures really quickly or your devotional really quickly and just close it. Really spend some time reading over it more than once. Tip number three is to use BibleStudyTools.com. This website is awesome and they offer a lot of helpful resources that can help you to better develop your study time with God. They offer a Hebrew dictionary, commentary, and several different versions of the Bible. So if you're having an issue understanding the certain version that you're reading, this website has a lot of different variables. And also, on your smartphone, there's plenty of options for um, using the Bible app. You can re read all different versions, and I actually think it's helpful to read a few versions of the same scripture sometimes because the words are interpreted differently. Tip number four is to watch a video on the chapter or the book that you are reading. I know that may seem weird, but thankfully we have so much technology around us where we can do stuff like this. But there's this really cool YouTube page called thebibleproject.com or the Bible Project, and they offer a lot of really in-depth resources about the books in the Bible. When I first started out, it was really hard for me to understand the Bible, just reading it as a regular book. So what I did was I went book by book, chapter by chapter, using the Bible Project. So I would highly recommend that you check them out if you haven't already. It's basically animated animated versions of the Bible stories and they break it down, they give you the big picture, they show you how the different chapters are written. So really awesome resource. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and check them out and let them know that I sent you. Tip number five or mm, yeah tip number five is to use a bible with commentary. I use the English Standard Version Bible. Let me grab it. And it is the Gospel Transformational Bible. I took the cover off of it but I got this from Amazon. Of course the link will be down below if you're interested. But this bible actually comes with commentary. So in the beginning of every single chapter it gives you a summary of what the chapter is about, who the author was. It even breaks down scripture for scripture, the common commentary um, throughout the chapter. So you'll see down here at the bottom it has all these notes where the author is basically breaking down what the chapters are about. This is really helpful for anyone that is struggling to understand the context of the Bible. Like for me especially, I like to see the big picture of things before I dive straight in and start just pulling out dissecting sex, uh, scripture at a time. So I would highly recommend this if you are new or if you're just struggling to understand the Bible. Tip number six is to pray before you study. I know that may seem weird, but I would encourage you to try it. A lot of times we just try to dive right into it and we aren't necessarily in the right heart space to really receive what it is that God is trying to show us. So I would encourage you to start praying before you open your Bible, before you open your devotional. Just take a few moments to ask God and the Holy Spirit to guide your heart, to open your heart, to allow you to receive whatever it is that he's trying to plant and download into your mind. Um, don't rush if you can really do it when you can devote time to it but praying beforehand definitely allows you to just be in the right headspace to really receive the word that God is trying to plant in your heart. 
Number seven is to listen after you read. So after you read, you may have heard of meditating on the scripture. What does that actually mean? That literally means to just listen. That means you read the scripture. Maybe you journal about the scripture. Maybe you do the SOAP Bible study method, which I have a video up there if you're not sure what that is. But after you do that, you just sit with it. You just rest in that scripture. You look at it. You reflect at the words and you just rest on it and you just allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Sometimes, you know, when you rest and you listen, you won't hear anything. You literally won't hear anything and you'll just close your Bible and that's the end of your Bible study. But other times you may rest and you may hear things that you've been seeking answers for. You may hear things that you weren't even thinking about. You may get guidance on certain situations. You may be pushed to try something. You may be pulled to do something. You may feel called to give something up. Whatever it is, just be open to receiving that and just really allow your chance to just sit in God's presence. So I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what is one of your Bible study tips. I love when you guys share your information down in the comment section because I do not know it all, but I think that if we come together, we can all help each other grow. So thanks so much for being here. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you head over to my website, FatimaFarmer.com, and sign up for the free 7-day prayer journaling challenge. This challenge includes audio guides and prayers that you can download that will help you build your faith in a stronger relationship with God. I really hope that it's a blessing to you on your journey.